Hello viewers, welcome to Texture Diesel. In this video, we are going to make a IR module circuit on PCB, which also can be used as a touchless switch or touchless doorbell. As you can see, when any object comes near to the circuit, it automatically starts the buzzer. And we can also adjust the range of the circuit by adjusting the potentiometer of the circuit. The circuit is very simple. We will also discuss the working principle of the IR module circuit and what are the components required to make the circuit. But before that, I would like to thank you Seed Studio Fusion PCB service for sending me the prototype PCB for this project. To order your own custom design PCB, you have to visit their website. I have shared the link in the description. After uploading the GABA file, you can set the required parameter for your PCB and place the order. You will get the delivery within 7 working days from the Seed Studio Fusion PCB service. Here you can see I have received this 10 setup PCB from the Seed Studio Fusion PCB service. It comes with air seal packing as you can see. Let me unpack a PCB. Now you can see the quality of the PCB. I have to say the quality is very good in this affordable price range. I have also shared the GABA file of this PCB in the description. You can download the GABA file and order it and you will get the same PCB which I am holding right now. Now before soldering the component on the PCB I would like to discuss the working principle of the circuit. Then we will solder the component on the PCB and test the circuit. As you can see this is the IR module circuit and these two are the IR LED. This is the IR emitter. When DC voltage fed across the IR emitter, it starts emitting the infrared and this is the IR detector, it detects the infrared. Now here you can see in the circuit diagram, the anode of the IR emitter is connected to the positive terminal but for the IR detector, cathode is connected with the positive terminal. Now if I hold these two LED in this manner and fed the DC voltage as per the circuit diagram, then the emitter LED will start emitting the infrared so if any object come close to this IR LED the infrared emitted from this LED will be reflected from the object and falls on the IR detector the amount of the infrared falls on this IR detector will be proportional to the current flowing through this path so if the object come closer then more reflected infrared falls on this IR detector and it will increase the current in this path. Now as per the formula which is V equal to IR, R resistance is constant at this path which is 10 kilo ohm. So if the current increase through this path, it will increase the voltage at this point. Thus the distance of the object from the IR LED is converted to the proportional voltage at this point. Now we need a reference voltage. Now we will use a trimmer to get a reference voltage. We will connect two side terminal of the trimmer to the positive and the negative terminal and we will get the reference voltage at the middle terminal of the trimmer which also can be adjusted by the rotating shaft of the trimmer. So now we have a voltage at this point and we also have a reference voltage. Now if the voltage at this point will be more than the reference voltage, we will turn on the circuit. For that we need a comparator and we will use this LM358IC as a comparator. As you can see it has two comparators, we will use this comparator. Here you can see there is a inverting input, non-inverting input and an output pin. So we will connect this point to the non-inverting input which is pin 3 as you can see it indicated with the pink color and we will connect the reference voltage at inverting input which is pin 2 as you can see it indicated with the blue color so when the voltage at the non inverting input will be more than the inverting input it will turn on the circuit and we will get the output at the comparator so in this case the output pin will be 1 and here you can see we have connected a LED with pin 1 when we will get the output at pin 1 it will turn on the LED thus when the voltage at this point will be more than the reference voltage then we will get the output which is in this case pin 1 
and whatever the device connected with pin 1 will turn on so here I have connected a LED you can also connect a buzzer with the pin 1 now as we can adjust the reference voltage by rotating the shaft of the trimmer so we can also adjust the sensitivity of the circuit according to our requirement so this is the working principle of the circuit now we will solder the component and as a DC supply we will use the 9 volt battery but you can use any 5 to 9 volt DC source for this circuit now I am placing the IR LED first here you can see this is the IR detector to identify the anode and the cathode of the LED you can see this is a flat portion of the LED so the terminal near to this flat portion will be cathode and in the PCB also indicated that flat portion so accordingly I will connect the LED now I am placing the IR emitter and this is the indicator LED again I am placing the flat portion as shown in the PCB you can see this is the flat portion indicated on the PCB and I place the flat portion here now I will place the register these two are the 220 ohm register and this is the 10k register now I will place the trimmer now we will place the IC you can see this is a notch of the IC we have to be careful while placing the IC on the PCB we have to place the IC in this manner so that notch will be in this side as indicated on the PCB now here I will connect this pin where we will supply the DC voltage to this PCB now we will place the buzzer this is a positive terminal of the buzzer and here you can see it indicated the positive terminal so accordingly we will connect the buzzer now here you can see I have placed all the component on the PCB now I will supply the circuit with a 9 volt battery so when any object come close to the circuit it will automatically turn on the buzzer here you can see if I want to change the range of the circuit I just have to rotate the shaft of the trimmer so now I am going to use this circuit as a touchless doorbell so I will use a both side tape to place the battery on the back side of this PCB and here you can see it will work as a touchless doorbell and I can place the PCB anywhere I want and I can also disconnect the battery to turn off the circuit so if you like the project please give a thumbs up and share it to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you for watching have a great day